The reign of God is both good news and bad news. It really depends whether you submit and surrender to his lordship or whether you are an enemy and an opponent. Psalm 97 starts, the Lord reigns. Let the earth rejoice. Let the many coastlands be glad. Clouds and darkness are all around him. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of his throne. In that second verse, we get this picture of mystery, of things that are hidden, cloud, darkness. But underneath it all, there is righteousness and justice that uphold the throne of God. The thought of enemies, of those who will be punished, of God consigning people to eternal judgment, to hell, is not very popular in Christian life and in church life in general today. We like to think of the unconditional love of God accepting everyone everywhere. But that's not the whole picture. That God has unconditionally accepted us is dependent upon Jesus Christ, his sacrifice, his taking the punishment that's due to our sin. And if we will not receive that, then only the fearful prospect of judgment remains, as the letter to the Hebrews puts it. Fire goes before him and burns up his adversaries all around. So the good news is that the Lord reigns. Let the earth rejoice. We'll be saved. But the bad news is that righteousness and justice are the foundation of his throne. God doesn't act in vengeance out of just some kind of vindictive manner, but he acts with righteousness. He will judge the world in righteousness. Those who worship images are put to shame, verse 7. Zion hears and is glad, and the daughters of Judah rejoice because of your judgments, O Lord. For you, O Lord, are the most high over all the earth. You are exalted over all the gods. Those who worship idols, whether they're material or spiritual, those in the end will be consumed. But only those who trust in the true God, the Lord Jesus Christ, the Father, the Holy Spirit, the one God in Trinity. Only those will ultimately prevail. The end of this psalm addresses those who love the Lord and calls upon them to hate evil. Not evil people, but principles of evil. And to recognise the judgments of God when they fall are just and to be rejoiced in. O oh, you who love the Lord, hate evil, he preserves the lives of his saints, he delivers them from the hand of the wicked. Light is sown for the righteousness and joy for the upright in heart. In the end, God doesn't leave us in the dark. There may be mysteries, there may be things that disturb us and disquiet our soul when we consider the judgments of God. But light will be sown, joy will abound, and we shall Rejoice in the Lord and give thanks to his holy name.